Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another clothing haul. I recently did some damage at Nordstrom, so I figured I would share these pieces with you guys. A lot of these pieces are really great for fall and winter. I also grabbed some items that are going to be perfect for like summer transitioning into fall. And I just love shopping at Nordstrom because I know the pieces and the brands that Nordstrom carry just fit my midsize body so well. The sizes are pretty consistent and I stick to shopping the same brands pretty much. Usually in tops I wear a large, sometimes an extra large, and then pretty much always an extra large on the bottom or a size 14 in jeans and numeric sizes. So if you guys want to see another mid-size try-on haul here on my channel, make sure to keep on watching. First thing that I want to share with you guys is one of my favorite items that I think I picked up. This is from Topshop, which again is one of my favorite brands to shop at Nordstrom. I love how their clothes fit and I I feel like they're really consistent in their sizes for me. So I picked up this really great long sleeve ribbed polo shirt from Topshop. I really loved how sleek this look. I feel like it's kind of similar to what I have on today except it's long sleeve and it doesn't have a zipper, it has some buttons. So you guys will see in the try on, I just think this is going to be so perfect for work, so perfect to just throw on easy with jeans, but it still gives you that really put together look, yet you're still very comfortable. I love the ribbing on this. I feel like it elevates it even more opposed to if it was just like a flat kind of material. I would say it is a little bit on the shorter side. I do like it tucked in because I think it gives me more shape and a better shape to my body opposed when it's not tucked in. I picked this one up in an extra large UK, which is equivalent to a US 14. This item is so fun and very out of my comfort zone, a little bit different. You guys will see in this haul, I like black, olive green, neutral colors, tans, things like that. But this is definitely the most different and loudest piece that I picked up from the brand BP, which is one of Nordstrom's house brands. I absolutely love BP. And this is their preppy woven mini dress and it comes in in a couple of different shades and this is the yellow and brown mini plaid so I like this dress a lot I picked this up in an extra large just because I did see that it was a mini dress sometimes when I see things are very like straight looking or like they won't have a lot of stretch to them I tend to size up I feel like the one thing that this is missing that would take this dress like to the next level is pockets it doesn't have any pockets but something that I could look past and I absolutely love the little kind of mini slit that this has on the thigh. I think it just adds a little fun element to the dress. The next two items that I got are also from BP and I love these. I know these are going to be such a staple for me in the fall and winter and this is their Clio cropped crew neck sweater. So I picked it up in black and then also this really gorgeous olive green shade. So the black is kind of hard to see in the try on clip but it does have this really nice knit material to it. I tried to get a good close up for you guys so you could hopefully see the material and the quality of this, but really, really nice material. This is cropped, but it's not too cropped where like your whole stomach or your whole midriff is going to show. It definitely hits kind of right below some high-waisted shorts that I am wearing in the try-on clip you guys will see. I really love basics that I could repurpose, that I could wear, that are not too memorable, I guess you could say, because I do wear a lot of the same clothing pieces over and over again until I'm just completely tired of them or they just get old looking. But I think I like the olive green a little bit more. I love how olive green just complements my skin tone and my hair and my brown eyes. I think this is just a really good shade on me. I do like to do a little French tuck with these just again to give it a little bit more shape. I prefer tucking in my sweaters for my body shape and I love how the sleeve kind of goes down into a little bit of a cuff to give it more of a tailored look. And for these, I picked up a size large and they fit me absolutely perfectly with plenty of room left over I would say. They're not too oversized but they're not fitted either. They're just really really perfect in the size large so just prepare to see me wear these a ton coming up. Every single year I make it a point to grab one of my favorite pair of pajamas and that is their Moonlight Short Pajamas. I've hauled these I think a couple years in a row but this year I decided to go with the leopard print which I think is so cute. The thing that caught my eye about this leopard print is the shade of brown that it is. It's almost like 
a neutral pinky brown, I would say. Normally leopard print is like that really orangey, warm, vibrant kind of brown, but I love that this is a little bit more subtle and I absolutely love anything leopard print or cheetah print. I don't know how they categorize this, let me see. It's called brown brownie animal print. That's, that's kind of weird. But there's something about a nice pajama set that just makes you feel so like, extra put together. So again, you get the short sleeve shirt and it has the little collar on it, which I love. All of these moonlight pajamas have this beautiful white lining, which I feel like make them look even more kind of high end. I would just say if I had like one little tiny bone to pick with these, it's that I wish you could buy them separately because I got a large in these, which is perfect on the top. If anything, it is roomy on the top for me, almost a little bit big, but the larges on the bottom were just a tad small and I do wish that I could get an extra large on the bottom. That's just like my only little con about this set, but other than that, like I said, amazing quality. They last forever. Another item that I picked up for summer transitioning into the fall time are these Topshop faux leather shorts. But let me tell you guys, these are so completely out of my comfort zone, but I do really like them. I feel like I keep going back and forth with do I like them? Are they too like shiny? You guys will have to let me know. I do think that I really like these. I purchased these in a US 12, but it says next to it fits like a 14. So that's why I got the 12 and they are really, really true to size. I don't know exactly how I'm going to wear these yet. You'll see in the try on that I paired this with just a black crop t-shirt, but I definitely want to play around and see what looks best with this. I don't know, maybe like a jacket? I'm not sure. Definitely need to play around with it. So this next item comes from a brand that was so popular during the anniversary sale this past year. I don't think I've ever heard of the brand before this and that is Open Edit. They have so many cute pieces and really affordable as well. So I've been on the hunt for a black, comfy, stretchy midi skirt that passes my knee, maybe even mid calf. And this was absolutely perfect. Such a gem of a find on Nordstrom. I feel like this fits me just in all the right places. It's really flattering. It kind of hides like any like tummy area that I'm a little bit insecure about. And my favorite part is the rouged part near the thigh that opens up into the slit. Definitely looking forward to wearing this. I feel like I have all these like nice clothes. I just need plans to wear them to you guys. I can't just lay at home and read in the skirt. I mean, I guess I could, but like I want other people to see this, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. <laughs> Back to my classic comfy self, I picked up a pair of Nike fleece essential sweatpants. I am obsessed with these. These run extremely large. I size down two sizes to a medium and they fit me perfectly. Definitely size down on these. They still give a very comfortable, loose, baggy, relaxed fit even though I sized down two sizes. These are the sweatpants of my dreams, you guys. They are so soft and warm and fleece lined on the inside. And I love that they go down into a little bit of a cuff and a jogger, just to kind of, again, have more of that tailored look so you're not stepping on anything. I love the scrunched waistband and I love that it doesn't have a tie or anything like that because I don't love sweatpants that tie. A really nice seam going down the front. Again, really kind of hard to show you guys. I don't know if you could see, it has this nice seam going down the front. I love to be comfy. I love athleisure. I love basic things that will last in my closet a really, really long time. And I know that these sweatpants will be one of those pieces. Along with these Zella biker shorts, I finally fell into the hype of Zella biker shorts, you guys. I absolutely see the hype. I am obsessed. I want like a hundred more pairs. These fit me better than any other pair of biker shorts that I've ever had. I love that these are a soft material. They're not like that shiny athletic material. I find that it's hard to find good biker shorts without that shiny athletic material, but these are so soft. I did pick these up in a size extra large and they fit me absolutely perfectly. They do not ride down or ride up, which is like, chef's kiss because I'm always like pulling down my biker shorts on my thighs, but these are just absolutely incredible. $50, but 1000% worth it. I would pay that over and over and over again for biker shorts of this quality because they are so amazing. Would it actually be a Jackie Ann clothing haul if I didn't try on like a flannel or a jacket or something like that? So this year I have three to show you guys. I know I have way too many flannels and 
way too many shackets, but they are definitely my comfort clothing item and I look forward to wearing them every single year come the fall time. So the first one that I picked up is the plaid cotton button up shirt again from BP. Specifically what caught my eye about this one is the color scheme. I don't have a flannel that has this much black in it. I have a black and white one, but it has a lot of white in it. So like, that's how I justified picking this one up. Overall, I just love that it's mostly black because I was missing kind of that all black flannel look in my closet. Again, do you guys hear me just making excuses on why I purchased this? <laughs> this is more of a shirt material, which I really like. It's super lightweight and I love how long this is. I did pick this up in a large as well. This is also perfect for leggings. It goes past your butt if you're wearing leggings. I can never pass these up every time I shop on Nordstrom, especially the BP ones are my absolute favorite. I pretty much grab one every time that I shop at Nordstrom. This is another shacket from Thread & Supply. This is their pull fleece jacket. I am absolutely in love with this and the colors of this. It is like neutral, brown, tan, a little bit of like this grayish blue, if you guys can see, but I absolutely love this. This is definitely more of that heavy, soft jacket for when it starts getting more cold outside. I really like that this has more of a tailored look to it. I feel like a lot of the jackets that I have are way more oversized or they have that more baggy look. And I feel like it'll easily elevate an outfit, like a white bodysuit and jeans throw this on boots I feel like that's a look right there another thread and supply jacket that I picked up I did not need both of these but I felt like they were different enough this one is their cropped fleece shirt jacket you guys this is the absolute softest thing that I have ever put on my body in my whole entire life it is so soft it is so cozy I've been on the hunt for the perfect cropped jacket and I found it. I absolutely love this. I picked up the black and white one. They also have one that is all ivory, which is really beautiful as well. I honestly just don't trust myself to keep that one clean. It is so fuzzy, I'm telling you guys. Softest and warmest thing I've ever worn. It is going to be so good for the fall and winter. Last and final item that I got from Nordstrom is just a little accessory. I was a little light on the accessories this year, but I felt like the only thing that I really needed were a good little pair of pearl earrings. I used to wear pearls all the time in middle school and high school and I haven't had a pair of pearl earrings in a really long time so I grabbed these ones from Nordstrom they are really tiny I did think that they would be a little bit bigger I honestly didn't read the dimensions when I ordered but they're just gonna be the cutest little tiny studs They're very classy really elegant maybe for like an occasion or something like that so I figured it couldn't hurt just to have a little pair of tiny pearls. It's kind of like a staple earring. And here's what the little pearl stud looks like actually on the ear. I just thought these were so pretty, just really dainty and girly. And I just felt like I could use a good little pearl stud in my earring collection, so. I just think they're so cute. All right, you guys, so that is everything. That is officially everything that I picked up at Nordstrom recently for the fall time. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this mid-size try-on haul and spending time with me today. If you did, and if you wanna see more videos like this on my channel, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know, and it really helps me out. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't wanna miss out on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video as always thank you guys so much for watching and of course I will see you in my next one bye guys